done your competitor's research, established your goals, and created a structure for your PPC campaign. Now it's time to write your compelling ad copy to encourage users to click your ads. In this video, I will share some of the best practices you can implement while writing ad copies. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for weekly videos. Activate the notification button so you don't miss our content and address questions as they come up. Now let's dive in. Include the main keyword in your headline. Use your ad group's primary keyword in the headline to increase relevance. The more relevant your ad is to the query, the more likely you will attract the right searchers and increase your click-through rate. Consider your audience preferences and industry. Some consumers respond better to formal communication, while others will prefer a conversational tone. Pay close attention to your audience, and they will reveal their preferences. Remember also to consider what product or service you're selling. If you're in the medical industry, you will want a degree of professionalism, despite your audience's demographics. Showcase your unique value proposition. Use your description line to showcase what sets you apart from the crowd. This will help you encourage purchases. You can offer free shipping on orders over a certain number of units, overnight shipping, or describe the actual features of the products you offer. Provide a relevant call to action. Align your call to action with where your customers are in the buying funnel. If your lead is ready to make a purchase, you can use CTAs such as book a meeting or buy now. However, if they haven't made a decision yet, focus on more informative actions such as read more, get more info, or find out more. Use exclamation marks. These are the only visual symbols to indicate an increase in the volume of your ad's voice. Google seems to know how useful this symbol is in capturing attention, which is why we are limited to using it once within the description lines and never within the headlines. We recommend using this within your call to action to incite an immediate response. Use numbers and abbreviations to fit in more text. You need to know that you have a character limit of 30 for your headlines and 90 for your descriptions. This means that you need to be savvy with your wording. You can use known abbreviations and numbers to display your message and create space for your ad copy. Revise your grammar and spelling. Poor grammar and spelling will always weigh you down. Set up a QA process that double and triple checks that there aren't any mistakes in your ads. Capitalize your text. Intercapitalization has proven to be a very useful visual element. This simple enhancement can make your ad stand out and the font seem larger than it is. You can use the title capitalization tools to make sure you can do it properly. Go local. People like small and local businesses over big corporations. Use your ads to push your location and encourage people to stop by. You don't have to be exclusive to one site to promote the local ads. You can create separate campaigns for different geographical areas and adjust specific locations based on your campaigns. Takeaways. Besides practicing each of these tips while working on your ad copy, I recommend giving it a rest for a few hours. It is always good to review what you wrote with fresh eyes. Ask yourself if you would click on your ad after reading the copy. If you wouldn't, then you probably need to make some adjustments. If you have any more questions or wish to learn more about all things PPC, leave your comments below, visit our website, or contact me. You can find all the information in the video description.